today's rollicking adventure, The Headless Horse. Riders, it's mid-afternoon down in the Big Bend country of Texas. As we move in toward the B-Bar-B, we find that a number of our friends are gathered in the ranch house. Bobby Benson, the foreman Tex Mason, and one of the hands, Irish, are seated in more or less a semicircle. And in the center stands the one and only, thank goodness, Windy Whale. And now, fellas, I'm going to show you one of the greatest feats of magic you've ever seen. <laughs> Didn't know I was magic in, did you? <laughs> now, look, Windy, we got work to do. No, no, you just stay there, Tex. This won't take but a minute, and believe me, you won't want to miss it. I bet. Oh, so we got a septic in our midst, huh? <laughs> Never mind, Windy. Go ahead. Well, thank you, little boss. Glad there's somebody that appreciates me. Now, first of all, I have to buy me a hat. Thank you, Irish. Hey, now, you give that back, Wendy. That's a new hat. Well, shucks, ain't you got no trust in me? No. Now, in this hand, I hold a ten-gallon hat. <laughs> How do you like that? A ten-gallon hat for a half-pint head. Wendy. <laughs> and in this hand, I hold a pitcher of water. And now... Oh, no. Oh, glory be, Wendy. Don't pour that water into my new hat. Oh, John, John. You and I take it easy. Take it easy, Yeah, but on who? There we be. Now, you all seen me pour the water into the hat, didn't you? Yes, Wendy. All right. <laughs> I told you it was a great trick. So here you are, Irish. A hat full of water. <laughs> uh-huh. What? Wait, the water's still in the It's ruined. Oh, sure. I ain't no Houdini, you know. <laughs> Why, you, you, you skinny, weak-minded, stupid, hollow-headed excuse for a human being. I'm skinny? Wendy Wales, I put up with enough of these practical jokes from you. And this does it. Now, Dr. Irish, calm down. Heck, Halloween's coming up, and everybody pulls tricks on Halloween. Ain't you got no sense of humor? Sense of humor? I yeah, know, easy, Irish, I, easy. Oh, but Tex, I've had it. Now, look, there was one thing when he filled my bunk with threaded weight. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Yeah, and I didn't even mind too much when I found he put my best set of bitches on my horse McGillicuddy. Oh, shucks, they fit, eh? But this, now this does it, Wendy. Wendy, I am going to take hey, your... Hey, hold on, Irish. Yes, well, Irish, no rough stuff. Oh, but Tex... You hear what Tex said, Irish? No rough stuff. Right. But as for you, Mr. Whale... Oops. I just remembered I forgot to stay away. You stay here and listen. Wendy, we all have a lot of Halloween spirit, but there's some things you do and some you don't. Well, I was just having a little fun. It isn't fun when you ruin somebody else's property. Now, try to understand that. That's is right, Wendy. Well, all right. But I just think you're all a bunch of funny duddies. Funny duddies? Sorry, Tex. I don't think Wendy understood at all. I know darn well he didn't. I tell you, Tex, there's going to be trouble if he doesn't stop. Yeah, but he's... Well, all right. If you're that worried, I'll get him out of the way. I'll send him into town on some wild goose chase. But I think you're worrying too much. He's probably learned his lesson. Tex! Glory be, Tex. What was that? When I tried to get up, my... My shirt! Somebody tacked my shirt to the chest! Wendy! Wendy Whale! <laughs> Yes, it looks as if Wendy has been asking for trouble, all right. But he isn't the only one in that category. For a short time later, on the main street of Cactus City... Come on, Steve. Let's us clear out of here. It ain't smart for us to be hanging around the street like this. And it ain't helping us none. This is saying there's got to be an answer, Bobo. There's got to be. Yeah, yeah. Only somehow you and me never find it. We'll find this one. Look, this is too perfect to give up on. We know that bank just got a shipment of cash. It's loaded with loot. If I can just get inside... Yeah, Schmidt, look. There just ain't no way. The night watchman ain't going to invite us in. And there ain't no other way without setting off the alarm. Unless uh, we could get someone in town here to help us. Somebody that the watchman would open the door for. Sure, sure. Only you know there ain't nobody dumb enough to do that, even in a break like this. Where could we find anyone jerk enough? Excuse me, fellas. I hate to bother you, but could you tell me if either of you have seen any wild gooses? Any what? Wild gooses. You see, Tex, he's the foreman. He sent me off on a wild goose chase, only... Well, it don't seem like there's many wild gooses around the Big Bend to chase. Uh, Steve, this guy's for real? I don't know, Bubba. Mac, are you batty? No, I'm Wendy, Wendy Wales. And you see, I just gotta find me some wild gooses because Tex is mad at me for all the practical jokes I've been pulling. <laughs> well, I figure the only way to square myself is to bring back a whole mess of wild gooses. If you ask me, you're square enough now. Hey, Steve, how dumb can a jerk be? Steve? Maybe dumb enough. Mr. Wales, you have come to the right people. I'm not only going to help you find your wild gooses, but I'm going to let you in on one of the best jokes you ever saw. Yes, sir, Wendy, you and Bobo and me, we're in business. (laughs) 
Yes, sir, Wales, that's all you got to do. You just get old Pops to open up the door, and then we'll grab him and pretend to rob the bank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretend. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, I don't think that's funny. Huh? Ah, but look, like I told you, Pops is an old friend of ours, and this is just a gag. You see, we'll we'll wear masks so he don't recognize us, and he'll think it's a real rob. Ah, shucks, that won't work. What? You two could never fool nobody into thinking you was crooks. No? Oh, well, maybe not, but uh, we can try, can we, Bubble? Huh? Oh, sure, we, we can try to make like crooks. And, well, think of the look on Pop's face when he finds how he's been fooled. Yeah, and the look on your face when... Huh? Uh, I mean... Yeah, sure, Wales. It's a great joke. And you'll help us, won't you? Well, as long as you give me your word, it won't cause no harm. Wales, I'm incensed. I thought you were Steve. I mean, you've upset me. Now, surely you don't think we, we'd do anything wrong. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't mean nothing like that. Oh. It's just that, well, somehow, no matter how I try, I always seem to end up in trouble. Well, you needn't worry about that this time. We'll look after you. Won't we, Bubba? Why, sure. You just bet we will. Well, in that case... <laughs> okay, fellas, let's go! Okay, well, here's the back entrance to the bank. Now, you got it all straight, huh? Sure thing. I'm to get Pops to open the door and talk to him real innocent-like. And then you grab him and, and make like it's a robbery. <laughs> As if I'd ever been dumb enough to help anybody rob a bank. <laughs> well, uh, maybe it'll fool Pops anyhow. Okay, suppose you go ahead, Wales. We'll hide over here. Okay, but try to make it look good, fellas. Don't worry, Wales. We will. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Hey, hey, Pops, open up. Who, who is it? I can't see you in the dark. It's me, Wendy Wells. Here, I'll light a match so you can see me. There. Now open up, Pops, and hurry. But, uh, what you going to do? Well, I'll tell you if you just open the door, but hurry, Pops. It's a matter of life and death. All right, all right. <laughs> there. All right, now, what is it, Wendy? What's wrong? Well, say something. <laughs> Uh, movies are better than ever. Wendy, what's got into you? First you come pounding on my door like you was fit to bust it down. Now you just stand there with a silly grin on your puss. You feeling well? Oh, Pops, uh, it's amazing that uh, you should bring that up. Reminds me of my old gal, Katie did Von Zubush. She was always worrying about my health, feeding me cod liver oil and sits. But, and... Wendy, what? Yes, sir, she was quite a girl. <laughs> I'd tell okay, you she... Okay, Okay, what's the time? Okay. Hang on, old boy. There. I got him so you can't yell now. Get the door, Steve. Yeah. Okay, bring him over here, Pobos. Yeah. Right, tie him up. Hang on to him, tie him up. There. There we go. There. Now the gag. And that does it. He won't cause us any trouble. Hey, and look at his eyes, fellas. <laughs> My goodness. You know, I think we got him fooled. Sure, Wendy, sure. Okay, Bobo, you keep an eye out the window. Make sure nobody heard the rumpus. I'll take a look at the safe. Right, me. It's all gone to you, fellas. Sure are good actors. If I didn't know better, I'd think this was a real robbery. Hey, but when are you going to let Pops in on the joke? Well, not for a while yet. When We've got to uh, milk the gag, you know. Right now, I want to look at this safe. Hey, it's a pretty good vault for such a little bird. Yeah, it's a new one we just bought. Hey, and you watch out. You don't scratch it within their tools. Remember, you promised you wouldn't hurt nothing. Sure, well, sure. Hey, Bobo, how's it look outside? All clear? Quiet as a tomb. Nobody heard a thing from the looks of it. But, uh, how about opening up that can there? Can you crack it? Crack it? Now, fellas, I told you, that's a new safe. Well, just take it easy, Wells. That's just uh, an expression. Yeah, yeah, I think I can handle it, Bobo, but uh, I'd use soup, though, to blow it. I got it. Hang on. Hey, what's that stuff? Well, it's just water, but we'll, we'll make out like it's an explosive, huh? Hmm? Oh, no, ain't that silly. <laughs> fellas, if you do things like this, you ain't never gonna fool nobody into thinking you're crooks. So, going, you know, I, I don't think this gag is coming off at all. I think we might as well. Okay, just... Bobo, I ought to do it. Now, let's get back a ways. Come on, Wales. Well, what are you up to now? Hey, what's that wire? Nothing for? for you to get excited about. Okay, down here, Bobo. Right. You all set? Yeah. Okay. Ready now. Fellas, I just hope you know what you're doing. That's a new safe, so please don't scratch it because I'm not... Fellas, you scratched it. Wretched it. Nothing. The door's clean off. Okay, Bobo, let's go. Hey, now, no more, fellas. I know if you kept pulling around, something will go wrong. Now, what are you putting all that money in them sacks for? 
Now, fellas, that ain't funny. Fellas, will you do the honors, Bobo, or shall I? Oh, let me. Well? Now, fellas, I'm warning you. Cut that out or I'll get mad, and then you'll be... <laughs> Sleeping like a baby. What do we do with him, Steve? Only one thing to do. He's seen our faces, so we'll have to bump him. But right now, give me a hand with this money, Bobo, and step on it. Mm. We've got to swipe us some horses and get out of here fast. We'll take care of whales later. <laughs> Do about winning. Son, that's the jackpot question of the century. But golly, we've got to do something. He's driving everybody crazy with these practical jokes of his. Impractical jokes is a better word. Well, as far as doing anything, I... Uh-oh, hold it a second, son. Bebobby Ranch, Tex Mason speaking. Oh, yeah, Sheriff, what's up? Hey. Oh, you want Wendy? Well, he isn't here right now. He... Hey. What? Wait a minute, Say you want Wendy for robbery? Oh, now, Ben, you can't mean that. He... He, he what? Tex, what is it? Yes, Sheriff. Yes, yes, right away. Tex, what's wrong? Brace yourself, son. Wendy just helped hold up the bank in town. But, but... Tex, you're a kid. I'm not, son, but apparently Wendy thought he was. From what the night watchman told the sheriff, it looks as if Wendy was tricked into thinking the robbery was just a, a big practical joke. Oh. Well, only once the robbers got what they wanted, they knocked him out and took him out to kill him. Kill him? Tex, we got to help him. Well, try it, son. The robber's headed south, so we might stand a chance of intercepting him. Tell the boys to saddle up, and son, tell them to hurry. Wendy's life depends on how fast we found those robbers. Okay, Bobo, rein in here. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, oh, that one. If anybody is chasing us, they should be a good distance behind, so let's give our horses a rest, huh? Yeah, this one of mine is putting their shot from carrying double. <sighs> Hey, but what about Wales here? Seems kind of silly to tote him along. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. Boy, you really must have swatted him one, though, to keep him out this long. Well, he clunked his head good on the chair going down, but he... Uh-oh. Sounds like he's coming through now. Uh, hey, ten to one, he wakes up asking, where am I? Oh, now, Bobo, even this jerk couldn't be that corny. Where he... am I? Well, what do you know? See what I mean? Hey, Wales, snap out of it. <laughs> Wales? Who's Wales? Oh, brother, don't tell me he's the dummy, don't even know his own name. Hey, wait a minute, Bobo. Could have beat it. Well, come on, well. Don't go on, fellas. Don't. Don't go shouting at me that way. I don't know where this whale fella is. Who are you? You don't remember? Seems like I should. Well, I know you as well as I do my own name. And, uh, what is your own name? Don't ask silly questions. It's, it's, uh, uh, now, shucks, ain't that funny? I never, never did have a memory for names, but I ought at least to remember my own. Holy smoke, Steve. It looks like the crack on the head he got. It's certainly done something to him. Mm. And we... Come on over here a minute, Bobo. Uh, Wait, he can't hear us. Yeah, but I... Uh, Just come. Hey, Pollard, where are you going? You just stay there and rest your hollow little head. We'll be right back. All right, Bobo, this, this is about fine. I don't get it, Steve. What's the matter if he hears us as long as we're going to bump him? Matters because we might not have to bump him. He might be more valuable alive. This I can't see. How could that jerk be valuable to anyone? He can't be to us. Look, didn't you hear him just now? Huh? He doesn't remember anything. Not even his own name. You mean he's got magnesia? Something like that. The point is, he don't remember a thing. He don't have to believe anything we tell him. So why don't we tell him that he's the one who planned the bank job? Oh! I still don't care. We done that. Sure, but I bet we can convince him that he did. We'll make him think he did it and then send him to go confess to the law. Might not keep him off our trail entirely, but it'll sure throw him off for a while. Hey, hey, that's great. If it'll work. But you really think you can pull it off? You can make him think he's done it? Just you wait and see, Bobo. Just wait and see. And that's how we came to be carrying you, Wells. You see, after you held up the bank, you was knocked out, and we helped you get away. Only now that you're conscious again, we think you ought to go back and uh, give yourself up. You mean I'm a bank robber? Yeah. Oh, shucks, fella. You, you must be wrong. I, I don't strike me as the desperate type. Oh, but you are whales. Any bubble? The most desperate case I ever seen. Sure. Why, you're a real killer, whales. I am? One of the roughest, toughest gunmen in the West. Well, doggone. And one of the smartest, too. Oh, well, that figures, yeah. As a matter of fact, whales, you're just about the most feared man in the whole West. Everybody is. 
Even you two? Us? Why, sure, Wales. Can't you see me shaking in fright? Why, we're terrified, huh, Steve? Yeah, I, I can hardly keep my teeth from chattering here. Scared, huh? Well, then. Get out of my way. Let me get up here. Oh, sure. Here, here. Let me help you up, killer. Get your paws off of me. Hey, how come you got a gun and I ain't? Give me yours. Hey, now, wait a minute, Wales. Give me my gun back. This fight's really flying high. Shut up there. Hey, now, watch it, Wales. That gun is loaded. Don't you worry about me, none. Well, I'm the greatest shot in the West. Uh, yeah. huh? Oh, sure you are, Wales, but uh, give the gun back, huh? I mean, if you're going to give yourself up to the law... Give myself up to the law? Are you off your rocker, buster? What? A pair as tough as me and you talk about giving myself up? Oh, I shaw and twaddle and all such violent remarks. Oh, brother. And you thought you was getting us out of trouble, Steve. I was. I don't know we'd go for it this strong. Now, look here, stupid. What was that? Stupid, did you call me? Well, I, I just... Mister, you're just begging to die. Well, I'd blast my initials in you with bullets if it wasn't for one thing. And what's that? I forget them. Well, what's my name again, fellas? Oh, that does it. Now, look here, Wells. You either give that gun over hey, or I'll... hold on a minute, Bubble. Yeah, but I... I can hold it. Huh? Look over there on the horizon. See in the moonlight? Holy smokes. Horses. A whole bunch of guys headed this way. Looks like a party. Yeah, and if they spotted us, we ain't got a chance. Only they may not have spotted us in the dark. Quick, Bubble, behind these lights. Get here now, fellas. Come on, Wells. Get out of sight. A killer like me running high ain't nothing doing. I'll blast them off their horses. No, Wells, don't shoot. Let them, Bubble. Hey, let's go, fellas. That ain't fair. I'm sick of Just you let me fight it out. Why, there ain't nothing can stop me. Oh, no? Here, you see? (laughs) It didn't hurt me at all. He's out, Steve. Yeah, but those riders must have heard the shots. Look, that is straight for us. Come with, Tramp. There ain't no way out. Not unless... Wait a minute. Huh? Yes, there is. He's still got whale's life to bargain with. Huh? But Quick, I... Bobo, help me drag him behind these rocks before they get here. Then right. you'll see how that posse reacts when I give him my turns. Either they let us go, or we kill whale. <laughs> Rain in there, you. Rain in. Oh, oh. Well, we'll come out. You have a chance. We'll see about that. But let me warn you, we got a guy named Windy Wales back here. And unless you clear out of here, unless you let us go, we'll kill him on the spot. Now, what do you say about that? I'm afraid there's nothing we can do but give in to him, boy. Whatever he's done, we can't let him kill Wendy. Sure he'd be, and just when things seem to be going so well... Here I was figuring how lucky we were to catch up with the crooks, and now... I know, Irish. Yeah. There's nothing we can do about it. I'll tell them they can... No, wait, Jack. They... There is something we can do. Oh, what do you mean, Bobby boy? Because what's to stop some of you from circling around and jumping on the crooks? The one obvious thing, son, it spot us. That moon may not be as bright as daylight, but if they're watching, they'll see us. But suppose they're not watching for us. Suppose they're too busy watching something else. But what else would they be watching, Bobby? Something out of the story I just read. What? You just give me a hand, Pat, and I'll show you what I mean. Hang it all, Steve. I wish I'd make up their minds. Just wait in here. I got me jumping. Take it easy, Bubble. We don't dare let them think we got any doubt of what that decision will be. Yeah, well, I'd still like to know what they're up to. Uh oh. Bloodless is coming, too. Well, well, just see that he doesn't get in our way. You watch him. Uh, I want to make sure our friends out there don't pull any tricks. Uh, where am I? Oh, not that same corny line again. Wales, you need a new writer. Huh? Oh, oh, gee, fellas. <laughs> hey, how do we get out of the bank? That, oh, great. Now we're back to that bit. Hey, see, it looks like that last squad I give him cured his magnesium. Never mind that. Just see that he doesn't try. Yay, yay, yay! Steve, what is... Look out there in the moonlight, Bubble. Huh? It's... No, it could be. But it is. Holy smokes, I see it too. The guy riding up and down, only... Oh, my gosh. He ain't got no head. You both see it. And I ain't local. He hasn't any head. No, it... Uh-oh. Wait a minute. We're wrong. He's got a head, all right. But look where he's got it. He's carrying it under his arm. Oh, my gosh. It must be a ghost. Yeah, but why'd he want a horn, does? Go away. Go away, you out there. He's heard it. He's stopped him. Look out. He's headed this way. Yeah. Well, I'll stop him. Look out, now. You don't do nothing. Hey, follow me. We've been trapped. There's something wrong with him. Get your head. 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 Get your head.
Sheriff, come out. Oh, dog, am I glad you're there. See? Oh, there's the gal. That's what we see. It's right this way. Go on, let's run. Oh, Wendy, wait. That isn't a real ghost. Well, I'm sure I'll stay and ask for a death certificate. I'm getting out of here before something. That ghost is going to swallow up the little boss. There ain't any ghost, Wendy. It's just me. Huh? That was Bobby's idea to distract the robbers, Wendy. He pulled on Irish and jacket over his head. From a distance, though, and with his small size, he really looked like a headless horseman. <laughs> but, but whose head was that he had under his arm? <laughs> it was just a cactus, Wendy. He carved the face in it and turned like a jack o' lantern. Yeah, but you, you mean it just. Uh, we, you mean it was all just a joke? Well, I guess you could call it that. Well, maybe so, but you darn near killed me with fright while you was at it. The little boss in the future finds some other way, huh? You know, if there's one thing I can't stand, it's practical jokers. Oh, no! Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs>